Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I pluck like Tay, Aragon Tay to be exact. These are some tips that I learned from his master class. Some things I've kind of known from like over the years of just, you know, plucking and some things are definitely new to me. And as you can see, they really helped the girl out because this wig is looking plucked. Okay, sis, here's how it looks once I installed it. This hair is from Tanache Hair Company. All the details and specs will be down in the description box, but let's not waste time. Let's get right into this tutorial. So starting off, I am cutting this little white napkin and putting that over my canvas head. Having something white under my wig really helps you see the knots very well and seeing the knots is essential for not over plucking. You also want to make sure that you have the wig centered to the middle. My canvas head has this little like lines in the front that lets me know where the middle is. So I try to make sure I am putting the wig in the middle. This is very important because you don't want to over pluck the middle part, especially if you plan on wearing this in the middle part. So just make sure you are, you know, keeping mind of your middle part the whole time that you are plucking. Now that my wig is nice and pinned down, I'm going in with a hot comb to just press back that hairline so I can be able to see what I'm working with. If you don't have a hot comb or don't feel like using that, you can also pluck the hair wet. But the thing with plucking the hair wet versus plucking it dry is that the knots come out a lot faster. Personally, I prefer to pluck my wigs while wet. That's because I've been plucking for a while and I kind of have more control. But as a beginner, I would say pluck it dry and just use a hot comb to press back the hairline. Now that my hairline is nice and pressed back and I can see what I'm working with, I'm going to go ahead and just part the hair down in the middle. This helps me, one, to keep in mind of where my middle part is, and two, helps me just work in sections. I feel like it's much easier to work in sections than to try to pluck all over the place. So the tweezers that I like to use to tweeze my hair are slant tip tweezers. The one I'm using today is from, um, I believe, Revlon. It is their diamond premium slant tip tweezer. I think I'll link that down below. I got mine from Walmart. It was like a $5, but slant tip I found works the best for me. So we've got a hairline pushed back, middle part parted, and we're ready to start plucking. First, I pull out the first line of hair in the hairline and I pull that out because I'm not going to pluck that right now. I save that part for last. I pluck behind the hairline, okay? Sorry for this angle. I'm going to try to show a better angle later on, but just work with me for this starting part, all right? So I pull out that first and sometimes I'll go in with the hot comb again to help me just push all that hair in the back behind some more and I'll probably push down the hair in the front because I want to get it out of my way. Then I go in with my tweezers and I start to pluck a line, skip a line, pluck a line, skip a line. And I'm doing this in real time so you can see exactly how I'm plucking. And you want to make sure you are pulling the knots from the roots. You're not pulling just the hair, you are pulling out the knots. The key with plucking is to make sure you're not plucking in the same area because that is how you get a bald spot. So I pluck a line, skip a line, and once I've plucked that front row of hair, I go back with my tweezers and I go further back. So now I'm plucking more back into the hairline. So I'm not plucking in the same front spot anymore. I'm now moving my tweezers more back into the hair. While I'm plucking the, hair. the section as well, I try to make sure to be mindful of not plucking right where I've parted the hair in the middle because that's where I'm going to part my hair in the middle and that part does not need to be plucked.
like I said before, you just want to make sure you're not plucking in the same spot. You can probably see right there, I did a little bit of over plucking in that one section over there, but that's okay. I caught it on time and I know to stop plucking in that section. And that's why having the hair pushed out, the like front hairline pushed out really helps too. Because even if you do pluck a little bit in a small section, it's not in the front. So that patch will not be as visible. You can cover it up with that hairline that you pulled out initially in the beginning. All right, so now that I'm done plucking behind the hairline, I just push all the hair back up forward, go with my hot comb again to just press everything back so I can see you know, what we're working with for this final part. I go in with my tweezers again and I pluck finally the front line, but I pluck it very very sparsely like I do not go to ham maybe I'll go back into the hairline like I'm plucking behind the front just to probably thin it out some more and to make little more gaps but I'm not actually plucking the hair in the front as you can see with my tweezers because if I pluck too much of the front I won't have any baby hairs to play with and I'm someone who really likes having baby hairs in my install but if you don't care too much for baby hairs you can pluck the front a bit more for that natural hairline look or with the final plucking look um I as you can see it's a little bit more plucked on the sides I'm very mindful of not over plucking in the middle portion because I knew for sure I wanted to do a middle part but it's more okay for you to pluck more on the sides and be a little bit less aggressive in the middle okay if that makes any kind of sense here's a little before and after action for you as you can see it's very thinned right there and over here the hairline is still nice and full slightly pre-plucked but definitely not as plucked as i would like it for an install so i'm gonna go ahead and just start plucking the other side also i'm gonna put some like different angles to kind of show you how more examples because you know with plucking it's really all a visual thing in my opinion for me i got better at plucking by looking at like other hairstylist hairlines like 
I'll put some pictures to show an example. But I'll look at these hairlines and just really like observe and analyze them and try to recreate that same thing with my, you know, technique. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out, Girl Scouts.